Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a bread and butter Bolo video for you guys. All right, it's almost 1 a.m. I'm getting tired and getting silly. I'm doing my video marathon tonight. This is like video eight or nine in a row. Um, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Um, bread and butter. Okay, so items that are easier to find. Items you can buy low and still sell for a decent profit. Most of the items I share are $25 or less. It looks like I have some $30 items in here. So you'll definitely, you know, definitely learn something. It's good. It's all good. All right. Um, if you want to see big money bolo videos, I have those also. I have category videos. If you're new here, I have crazy amounts of bolo video content on my channel. So go check it out. And let's get started. Uh, I almost hit end broadcast. Whoopsie. Okay. The first item. I do this every time now because I'm paranoid. Because one time, just once, I wasn't recording or I wasn't screen sharing and I thought I was. All right. So this hat, I picked up a bunch of these at a garage sale. And I think they were either... 25 cents or 50 cents each. I think they might have been 50 cents each, but she cut me a little deal because I bought so many. The bad thing about this one is it says dad on the back, so it's a little bit harder to sell. So I did list this one lower for that reason, and it sold for $13.20 plus shipping. And um, I bought a ton. And they're all they all say this USS. And some go for more. I think I have them priced a little high. I probably need to go in and uh, reduce my prices on that. But um, I, I do have best offer on everything. So we'll see. The next item is this vintage 1986 Thundercats. I wish he was in better condition. I could have gotten more for him. But, you know, I got him at a garage sale in a, like, bulk toy bundle lot. So I have less than a dollar in him. I did take a best offer of $21 and the buyer paid shipping. This vintage Polly Pocket, it's just one case. It's the animal hospital. It has no people. So it was a bread and butter item. I picked it up at a garage sale for probably for like 50 cents or something. And I sold it for $12.32 in the buyer paid shipping. Polly Pocket can be a huge bolo if you find the right ones. So definitely look them up. They are not all bread and butter. The next item is this American Picnic Longenberger. Um, it's like a picnic basket lid and it's from 2013. I picked it up at a garage sale for like a buck. I took a best offer of $12, the buyer paid shipping. This iCarly backwards talker, record it. I took a best offer of $14 in the buyer paid shipping. The funny thing about this is on my Bolo live show, which is every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Somebody shared something. I don't know if they were DVDs or something with iCarly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I have something in my store that I'm waiting for it to sell. And literally it sold like within a day or two of that video. So I don't know if that was a coincidence or if somebody watched the video and then went to my store and bought it. And I just don't know about it, but kind of, kind of a funny story. So I think it was probably a coincidence. Sold for $14, picked it up at a garage sale. It was like, um, I bought so much stuff at this garage sale. So I had less than a dollar in it and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item is this Pokemon pops pop socket. And this came from the Toys R Us uh, going out of business sale. I had about a dollar 50 in this. I have sold tons of these. I have all the different characters and I have sold a ton, but they are definitely a bread and butter item. I sold this for $11 and 80 cents and the buyer paid shipping. All right, so I went to an estate sale and there was a drawer full of playbills, um, posters, programs, this hat, all this stuff, okay? It was all in this drawer. So I just grabbed it all out, took it down to the guy. I'm like, how much do you want for all of it? And I can't remember. It was something ridiculous, like 5 or $10 that I paid for all of it. Well, it turns out he, the guy told me, the estate sale guy told me that the owner of the house, their son was one of the cats in the musical, the cats. He was one of the cats. 
I ended up finding like signed items, um, like what do you call it? Um, autographed items. And I've sold one. I was in one of my Mercari Bolo item videos. It sold for really good money. It was definitely a Bolo. But I also have one listed really high and it's from the cats. And anyway, go to my store and check it out and read like the description. Like it is crazy. Like I'm just waiting on the right buyer. It is so cool. But this sold for $30.90 and the buyer paid shipping. It's really cool. There's a ticket and um, whatever this opening night party thing is. So definitely some cool stuff. I found emails from like the cast. It was really cool. So it was a great find. And they just didn't look through the stuff. And I mean, I was there on the last day before the sale. Like was it was almost over. And I found so much good stuff. All right, the next item. Nancy Drew starter set. <clears throat> I'm sorry, my throat. Um, I picked these up. I think I paid 10 cents each for these. So about 60 cents or so six books. Yeah. And I sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. This little team Umizumi car. I did not realize that it was remote control when I bought it at the thrift store. I think I paid two bucks for it. Um, there's no remote, but it did still beep. So, uh, I sold it for $13 and 20 cents and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, another Toys R Us, like just get rid of them item. And I have three left. If anyone's interested, please, please, by all means, make me an offer. Um, I cannot remember what I paid for this. Um, I think I got it at 90% off or whatever the price was. So it may have been like five bucks, three bucks, something like that. And shipping is a little high on it because it's a pretty big item. I think that's what's hurting me. But I have sold two. I have three left. It is a Power Rangers T-Rex Battle Zord. So the next item is this Me and My Big Ideas scrapbook breast cancer survivor stickers. And I took a best offer of $11 on this and the buyer paid shipping. I picked it up for less than a bucket of garage sale. All right. These very long, long tail item. And I don't know, you can see they glow in the dark. They're very cool. They're patches, vintage patches. And um, they're from the Kellogg's company. So I'm guessing it was like a mail-in thing or came in a cereal box or something like that. But these came with other items that I picked up at an estate sale. I decided to just list them. Took a long time to sell, but I sold these for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. I thought they were really cool. This vintage 1973 Sunshine Happy Family doll. Um, picked her up at a garage sale and a bulk lot of Barbies. So I have less than a dollar in her and I got an email from the person that bought it and I'm like, oh no. And they were just telling me how happy they were that they got the item and that they are a collector. And that's super exciting, especially when you're like, oh no, what do they want to return it? Did something happen? Did it get damaged? So it's always good when it's a good email. A subscriber bought this, which is kind of funny because I didn't know it was a subscriber until I was at Donatella Bodolino's auction. And in the chat, one of the gals was like, hey, I bought some items from, um, from you on auction. And I'm like, I don't do YouTube auctions. And she's like, no, I, I your eBay store. And I'm like, oh, so I'm like, she must subscribe to my channel. And that's how she, you know, got the link. So um, she bought this snow globe. I took a best offer of $15. And she also bought these Linux replacements or ornaments for full asking price of $13.20 and the buyer paid shipping. So a huge thank you if you're watching. I get super excited when I find out that subscribers have bought things off of me. I always ask that when you guys make an offer, put Bolo Buddies in the notes because I love to know that you guys are making purchases. It just literally like, it makes my day. I know that sounds super silly, but it's just exciting. I don't know. Maybe it's dumb. But anyway, thank you very much for your purchase. I appreciate you so much. And the next bolo item is this bread and butter bolo is these scrapbooking stickers, a lot of 24 Christmas holiday themed stickers. I sold these for a best offer of $25 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh, those came from a garage sale. It was a bulk scrapbook buy, so not much in it. 
Oh, and I forgot to tell you about these guys, what I paid for it. So this one, I think I got at a garage sale for like a buck. And this one, I bought the complete set, I thought, at um, the thrift store. And it ended up being one of the items was broken. So I just did it as a replacement set. So I don't, I think two or three bucks because um, I thought it was complete. So either way, still decent, decent margins. Okay, this one I've had a very, very, very long time. It came from an estate sale. I think it was the estate sale where I bought everything off the table at the end of the sale. And I sold this for a best offer of $15. I was just ready to see it go to find a home to somebody who would appreciate it. And yeah, it's a cute little bracelet, but uh, $15 buyer paid shipping. All right, these little guys, I also shared about this on my Instagram in a little video. So these guys came from the I got it free garage sale and they sold within 24 hours. Like I knew they were a bolo, but the problem was mine had issues. So I wasn't sure that they were gonna go for as much but I priced them a little high and I just hoped for the best and they sold within 24 hours. Let me show you the damage. See this guy's foot, super glue, or it looks like a glue gun. And this guy's face has a big black mark on it. And you can see the foot there. And then, um, let me get to it. There's his face. He's got that black mark and some paint loss. But look at his neck. Like he's got issues on his neck. So I took a best offer on these of $22. The buyer paid shipping, sold within 24 hours, and I got it free at that garage sale. So that was an exciting bolo for sure. I love it when I get things free and I sell them for a decent profit. And this sold today for $14.08. She is a Mattel Barbie. Her hair is like a rainbow. Um, rainbow and beige. I don't know. But uh, yeah, she's interesting. Uh, but $14.08 buyer paid shipping. And I picked her up at a garage sale with a bunch of dolls. And yeah, definitely don't count them out just because they're not super old. They do still sell. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Have an awesome night and I'll see you guys soon.